Your whole world is about to turn upside down. You're not even prepared. The vast majority of individuals are going to wake up one day and realize, where did the time go? Why didn't I get on this sooner? But I'll explain it to you today. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. What I'm talking about here, number one, is AI. We're going to look at industries like tech and energy. This is so important to understand the trajectory of where we are going. You're seeing a lot of buzzwords out there. You're seeing a lot of news out there but let's cut to it we're going to talk about the economics of the situation okay this is important you can't avoid it don't get into all of the nonsense you have to keep laser focus more now than ever before i'm telling you all right we have to stick to our plans okay well we're going to be eviscerated you're seeing this news probably trump announces a 500 billion dollar ai infrastructure investment in the united states some are saying, hey, this is not the, the case. It's not 500 billion. Who knows? Okay. Call it whatever number you want. You know that they are, in fact, going to be investing a lot. In many cases, if you start to include everything that goes into it, it'll be in the trillions. In fact, when you look at energy, when you look at everything that when you know the whole thing starts moving, this will be trillions of dollars over the next many, many years. And so that should tell us something. If they're going to invest trillions, what? happens next i'll break this down into three things number one ai if we're going to go ahead with this ai needs a lot of power i'll break that down the second thing it needs a lot of semiconductors you know that already number three it needs a lot of tech tech could be anything okay i've broken down this uh, for the Fr finance friday crew um, but we can look at that a little bit here today as well there's other those are the three things but there are issues associated with that and if you give me a few minutes i will get into all of those issues and what that means to you how you can make money out of it and of course how you can avoid the dangers that's really uh, the important thing here and so with a lot of power how can we power it can we power it with the old school technologies or will they need to adapt and use uranium use nuclear that's ultimately where they're going to have to go um, the problem with that is it takes a long time to get the nuclear up and running and so we can expect that this will be an endeavor that will take many years but there's a lot of infrastructure with that infrastructure spending and so the big tech companies are going to be and have already started to invest billions of dollars mark zuckerberg himself said that they are making a big bet a risky bet of hundreds of billions of dollars into this okay you also have them beginning what i've talked about for a long time finance friday crew knows all about it that i have said specifically um these big you know tech companies and things they could be building their you know uh, in the middle of nowhere they could have their own modular nuclear reactors like this think of like a, a small nuclear reactor they could build out in the middle of nowhere or at least far out from like the main cities they don't need to be downtown san francisco they could be way out there they could be powering themselves and it looks like that is actually going through now. I've been talking about it all throughout, covering it very closely since 2020, and we're here. Did I have a, a crystal ball? Am I an oracle? Ah, some would say, but I don't think so. I am simply looking at the information as it stands. Okay, next thing is semiconductors. You got the NVIDIAs of the world, you got all of that, but there's something that could disrupt that. Something could disrupt that, and Leather Jacket Man, he might be in big trouble. Well, I, I don't think so, but uh there could be a disruption there we're going to talk about two of those things uh and there needs to be a lot of tech in general which is basically everything that goes along with those semiconductors think of all the memory chips think of how these things get cooled how do you cool these big things companies will make money as a result of that and there are going to be jobs associated with all of that if you're an hvac person right now at the at like the edge of that industry Oh my goodness, You your phone is running off the hook right now, small scale and large scale. Okay, we have an issue though. Laws of scale indicate that we require more power to achieve the level of compute needed to perform the tasks which are actually disruptive. That's not currently the case though. And so what that means is basically they're telling us that AI is going to put us to bed at night, right? You've heard that before. However... If they say that, well, we can't do that with what we have today. We got to scale up big time. 
they need to do that and in between these two periods of time in between ai tucking me into bed and where we are right now you need a lot more energy a lot more chips a lot more cooling a lot more all of that except if we've been doing it wrong ever since and this so-called 500 billion dollar investment is not needed and maybe it's a little bit of i scratch my back you scratch your back or maybe the other way around we scratch each other's backs listen to this two potential issues we're going to break it down oh one this is open ai's model right this is their premier model right now that's public Allowing the model to think for a few seconds before giving a response can actually require significantly less compute. If models stop scaling exponentially as they're doing, they're, there's more power hungry every single model. They, then they kind of like work that out and it gets better. But usually that's the case. It's like more and more and more power hungry. So we'd expect as they advance, they simply need even more power. So it's not as if, oh, okay, well, we'll, you know, we'll get to a point at which it doesn't matter anymore. Actually, no, if we want to advance, we need even more power. Oh, you want AI to tuck you into bed at night? Oh my goodness, you need even more compute. How do we do that? Well, we have to scale, scale, scale. That's a problem, all right? Um, if the model stops scaling exponentially, then the demand curve would soften. Okay, think leather jacket, man, but also think of what that means everything involved okay o1 is just is just one of those models okay but understand like some of these models are now stopping and they're thinking and then they provide a response that's a different that's very different from the way that they were working previously a lot of the models are doing that now deep seek which we'll cover here deep seek is a super low cost model from china which performs nearly the same as openai's best public model o1 and yet didn't use the expensive chips. This is damaging to Leather Jacket Man. Now think about this for a second here. O1, that's their, their best premier model that they have, it's public and everything. And at the bottom there, $60 versus Deep Seek, $2. A huge, huge difference. China's deep seek may have just upended the economics of AI. Imagine Apple selling their phone for $9.99 and another one comparable in every way selling for $30. Bucks. That's the difference here. Look at this. Deep seek seems to have created a panic moment with the biggest companies and it should alarm investors. So the cost is like a fraction, a small, tiny fraction to get the model that they did, which you can download right now you, for free, it's open source. And yet closed AI, also known as open AI, is spending like hundreds of billions of dollars. Yeah, more spending, more spending, more chips, more leather jackets. Everybody gets a leather jacket. You get a leather jacket. You get a leather jacket. Except we have a problem here because these other guys did it at a fraction of the cost with, without the latest chips. In fact, it performs better. The R1, DeepSeek R1, which you can get right now. I tested it out. Apparently, that outperforms O1 in some cases for like mathematics and stuff. You got a problem. Okay, this, this is the issue. Understand the disruptions, the trajectory. Look at where it's going. I'll cover a Finance Friday. Oh, you're not a member of Finance Friday? I'll give you a giveaway. I'm doing three 333 in the giveaway look at the link at the top of the, the description there's gonna be a giveaway there I'll, I'll point it out at the end of this video you can get in for free and we'll talk all about it i'll show you the companies that are involved i just did that as i'm recording this video last night we went through all the companies that are involved in this transition ai and so on where you can make some money i've been talking about by the way i've been talking about since 2020 okay but anyway uh, I will cover that there. You can get a, a giveaway. So I'll give away three and that will be for this Friday. So as you're watching this video, likely this Friday, we will have it at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll be able to get on there. You can ask me any questions you want. I'll give it away to three people that is provided by uh, one of the members uh, who is actually supporting that. So look, you got a problem though.
If you look at what's going on right now, the world is changing. This is just an article that's talking about for the first time on record, the majority of all trading in US stocks is now consistently occurring outside of the country's exchanges, off exchange activities, okay, also known as dark pools, on course to account for 51% of the traded volume in January, okay? So a lot is happening behind the scenes. We're not going to be able to know. They're be able to evade, all, you know, oh, we do bank stress tests. Yeah, yeah, you do the bank stress tests. But in the end of the day, what happens? What happens ultimately is that those stress tests don't apply to the companies who are involved, like SVB and all that. Oops, sorry. You're not going to, the point is, you're not going to see a crisis when it comes. So be prepared. You got to think smart. Double digit hike in homeowners insurance rates for the second consecutive year. Hey, where's inflation? Inflation's gone, right? I, I was told inflation's gone. Inflation's not there, but yet it's there. It's there every single day. It is in every metric. All you got to do is open your eyes. Okay, so what we see here is a changing world. And most people are kind of just looking at it like, Hmm, that's interesting. No, 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 we're, we're done with that. We're done with that. Wake up every day and you better grind those knuckles down. You better be grinding those knuckles down or else you're going to be in big trouble. Do whatever it is you can. I've got, go to the playlists on my YouTube channel. I got playlist after playlist of things that you can watch. Hours and hours of important information, not the news, important information teaching you trainings e-courses everything so that we get the foundational knowledge i've also got compass on my website completely free no email no paywall no nothing the moneygps.com slash compass get on there and if you want to join the lives and you want to actually get the best uh detail possible where we go for two hours yesterday we went for two and a half hours more than that actually we can go on and on and on and get into the absolute depths of things and you will have the insight that, quite frankly, the vast majority of people don't have. All of those others in the financial industry, I've clearly shown you the patterns documented here on this channel for those who are just willing to pay attention for the whole 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or whatever. Most people can't. But I steamrolled those individuals. I don't make many videos now. I'm doing my other businesses. This is what I have to do. I've already shown everything that's there. I've made it very clear. I've been very helpful to the public as much as possible. Okay. If you want more information about that, themoneygps.com slash live. Okay. Themoneygps.com slash live. You can join me on the Friday sessions or the Sunday sessions. Just come. You'll, you'll, you'll see on the page right here. If you want that O face, I mean, if you want that uh, Janet Yellen um, right here, I mean, uh, Finance, uh, Finance Friday giveaway, uh, it is available to three people. Three people right here for this week. I want you to get on that. The link will be at the top of the description, and I want to see you there. Okay? So make sure, click that link, join. Good luck to you, and we'll talk soon. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Take care.